Here's General Molotov's plan. If we trigger a radiation warning in the city, no one will be left to guard the device save for some defense drones. Our scientists and engineers collaborated on a software that will trigger our false alarm. We just need to upload it into the system. According to our intel, the access point is guarded by drones. Prepare for combat. I'm picking up alarms throughout the entire area. They're beginning evacuation as we speak. All you have to do now is destroy the drones and take the cargo.
Ford, did you just really blow up the protective sarcophagus of a nuclear station? Well, excuse me. Apparently, we're not smart enough to come up with a better way to make the Union leave the area. Anyway, thanks for your help. Butch Cassidy is very grateful, but he can't leave you alive. Kill him, boys, and make it quick. Union will soon realize this was a ruse. That's possible. Half the mega city has been exposed to radiation, and you let the terrorists escape and even drop the ball on the device? I knew mercenaries couldn't be trusted. Those responsible for the explosion must be found and severely punished. You will see to it, mercenary. If my expectations are not met, the Union will announce your company as their enemy. And there won't even be a wet spot left of you. Is that clear? Then get to work. Dang, what a poot screw. We need to find these Jericho mercenaries ASAP. Let me refresh your knowledge about the Red Dragon Union. When the Advenant Crisis broke out and Earth Flora began mutating, Union boasted the largest army in the world. This allowed them to efficiently defend their cities while civilian population was evacuated, along with manufacturing equipment beyond the Polar Circle, where mutants were fewer in numbers. That's how the Union ended up with the largest population and the most advanced industrial complex. But the relocation of masses led to hunger and decline in the quality of life, especially in the first years that followed the evacuation. Hunger strikes and a strong army are perfect conditions to create a military dictatorship. Union's top-ranking officers created the generalship as the ruling body and restored peace to the country with firm hand. Union's motto is, if you're not with us, you're against us. They are adamant that the only way to deal with New Earth's fauna is with brute force. So they'll become very resourceful when it comes to creating efficient weapons of destruction. 
Since the Union commands a massive military force, they rarely use the services of mercenaries. When they do, it's usually for low-key jobs that are not worth involving the Army, or covert and black ops, most of which are aimed against the Alliance. the search for the terrorists that organized the attack in my city. We have ascertained that this particular Jericho squad specializes in transporting stolen goods, and its commander calls himself Butch Cassidy, like the legendary robber from the Wild West. Apparently, he loves robbing trains. I have a clue for you. Recently, we ferreted out a person in the transportation committee who supplied Butch with information on train schedules. We didn't touch the informant, deciding that he may be useful. You'll feed him information about cargo that will attract Butch? The informants will get a message about transfer of 20 ingots of platinum, but you will have to grab them. I don't intend to risk losing Union assets. Make sure this Butch Cassidy stays alive. We need him to lead us back to his lair. Place a beacon in the box with the platinum and make sure that Butch claims the prize. Everything must look normal so as not to raise suspicion. Is that clear, mercenary? Do it. We have finally collected 20 platinum bars. We've slipped it to the informer that the cargo is owned by a large bank. It seems like Cassidy took the bait. Hurry up! You must scare off that gang before they crack the safe and find the tracer.
at their leader. Let him escape. Work. We destroyed the entire Jericho Brigade aside from the leader. Did you believe he actually thinks that he survived thanks to his own blind luck? He cast the box in the freighter and, after getting us farewell with a rude gesture, to disappear in an unknown direction, which by his feeble mind will soon become very well known indeed. Jericho Lair is situated in the middle of the jungle. It's less than the ground as it's like to disappear. The place faces as big 